Hey guys, what's up? This is Shivodi from eGadget for you, and you are watching, and you are watching the unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy J5 Prime. So without further ado, let us just go ahead and take a look at the box at first. At the back, it says finger scanners, 13 megapixel shooter, the 5 megapixel shooters, the long-lasting 2400 milliampere battery, and the technical specifications. It's released in India at a price of around 14,000 INR and over here it says Indian SIM card only. So let us just go ahead and open the plastic cover and open the box. So as you can see this is a handset. Let me keep aside the handset and let's dig deep into the other aspect that comes along with this box. Pretty standard and usual stuff of so the quick start guide, the SAR information, certificates, the warranty cards and stuff like that are present in any handset nowadays. You get the USB charger point over here. Uh, it uses a normal USB charger also and it can also be used as a data cable. You find the earpiece, the normal standard earpiece that you find in the medium range handsets from Samsung nowadays. Of course you have the wall mount charger over here. As you can see that uses an input of 100 to 240 volt and output of 5 volt to 1 amperes. And lastly, you get a SIM ejector tool over here. So these are the stuff that comes along with the handset of the Samsung Galaxy J5 Prime. Let us put aside all the things and dig deep into the handset for now. This is a Samsung Galaxy J5 Prime. It's a black handset that I have over here. It's also available with the gold variation. It has a 5 inch of screen display. Let me just give you a physical overview of the handset at first. Uh, it has the oval edges as you can see quite pre predominantly over here somewhat similar to the iPhone 6 and above models but although it boasts of a smaller display. Towards the top uh, you do not find anything else over here. At the front at the top end you will find the 5 megapixel shooter, the earpiece, the Samsung branding. Beneath that it has a 5 inch of screen display. Towards the bottom, predominantly it has a home button, the back button and the multitasking button. Towards the left hand side, you will find the volume rockers, the SIM ejector tools. Mind you, it uh, does support dual SIM, dual micro SIM and you can extend the external memory up to 256 GB. So you get a lot of space in that department. Towards the right hand side, you will find the speaker grills just over here. So that makes sure of the fact that when you put your handset just like that, you get ample uh, sound output from here. The screen lock button is present over here towards right hand end. Towards the bottom, you find the USB connector point, the 3.5 mm jack input point, the microphone. Towards the back, you have a 13 megapixel shooter, the LED flash, Samsung branding. It's pretty much it. It's built out of metal. It has a metal body towards it and a sealed battery towards the back that is 2400 milliampere of charge capability. Now let us go ahead and power on the device for the very first time. It's a Samsung Galaxy J5 Prime powered by Android. The Samsung branding appears on the phone itself. Let me set up the fanset for now and come back to you within a moment. Guys, this is the very first look of the handset once the setup has been done. Uh, let me just go about settings at first and uh, drag down to about device. Over there I navigate to software info and it gives you the information of the kernel versions, the baseband versions and stuff like that of your handset. Also it tells you that this particular handset runs on android version of 6.0.1 which is marshmallow. That is the latest OS can be found in this particular device. From a storage department it comes with an internal storage of 16 GB out of which 36% is already being used. So uh, uh, you get something around 10.1 GB free. Additionally, it supports a micro SD card up to 256 GB and of course it uh, supports USB OTG. So storage wise you get a plenty of space. In the settings department there is no fancy stuff whatsoever. The smart manager is obviously present over here. You can also navigate the wallpapers, the themes and standard stuff. So Google, the Samsung clouds, uh, each and everything are quite depicted clearly in the settings department. In the drop down uh, menus, uh, you will find that the toggle menus are present over here. You get the mobile data, the power saving mode, the flashlight. Although the outdoors mode is available, but the auto brightness sensors are missing in this particular handset. Uh, let me check the bloatware on this particular device. You get the Google drawers, 
moving it to the app drawers you find the opera max the my galaxy the usb backup so that's pretty much it there is no cluster of apps no bloat face whatsoever the s secure is there uh, using this you can use a feature to secure the folder the lock and hide apps also secure your wi-fi and stuff like that so those are good stuffs pretty useful stuff so we will dig deep into the full review of the handsets uh, when we dig uh, when we do that particular video uh, in the Samsung drawer you find the my files the Samsung Health, the Galaxy apps and the secure folder apps also present over here from a display perspective the Samsung Galaxy J5 Prime has a 5 inch of screen display it supports a resolution of 720 to 1280 pixels it supports multi-touch as well it has a 2d corning coil glass protection so that is something new that they are coming along with this particular device uh, although the feeling the touch sensations is great the weaving angles are superb samsung never compromises on display and in this medium range handsets also the display is a great deal let us just go ahead and fire up the browsers for now before going so let me just give you the overview of the keypad that is present over here you find the numpads and the alphabetical pads are present uh, together over here there are ample spacing between the alphabets so this is pretty easy to type as well let me just go ahead and open my wife's cooking channel that is cookwithshonly.com uh, let me just hit go the samsung galaxy j5 prime uh, runs on a quad core processor that is clocked at 1.4 gigahertz with cortex a53 it has 2 gigs of ram 16 gigs of internal memory runs on android version of 6.0.1 which is marshmallow so those are good stuffs the samsung galaxy j5 prime has a finger sensors over here so when your screen is locked you just place your finger and it opens the screen for you uh, the pinch to zoom works perfect the finger sensations the touch sensations are just superb viewing angles are great although it's a 5 inch of display uh, but reading stuffs is pretty clear uh, because of the display department in this particular device let us go ahead and open the most important aspect of any handset that is the camera let us just get an idea of the overview that comes along in this particular device uh, with a 13 megapixel shooter and a 5 megapixel shooter uh, in the settings you will find the pretty standard of video size the grid lines location tags quick launch volume key review pictures and reset settings uh, you get the aspect ratio information over here the 4 is to 3 aspect ratio is for the 13 megapixel shooters the 16 is to 9 if you want you can go with the 9.6 megapixel shooter uh, the flash on off and the auto mode the timer mode the effects mode and that's pretty much it uh, in the modes department you get the auto the pro the panorama continuous shot hdr rich tone night mode beautiful sports sound and shot let us just go ahead and shoot a light picture at first i just brought about an object over here and taking the picture in the auto mode it took the picture quite fast let me just go ahead and open up the picture for now okay i've used tap to focus in this particular picture you can find that the different colors are nicely depicted in the picture and the focal region came out great before defocusing the other areas over here so that's uh, good i must say but again the full camera review will come in the later video so stay subscribed for that the front camera is a 5 megapixel shooter we will dig deep into the camera aspects in the full review of the handset so that's it guys i guess uh, this will be it for the quick unboxing and the first hand overview of the samsung galaxy j5 prime stay subscribed to my channel i will catch you guys in my next video of the camera review of this particular device very very soon bye for now